Welcome to an exciting new adventure with Octopath Traveler 2, the highly anticipated sequel in the beloved Octopath Traveler series. Set to hit store soon, even if you've never played an Octopath game before, there's no need to worry. The sequel is a completely standalone experience and unlike its predecessor, it will not be an exclusive to the Nintendo Switch and will launch on multiple systems such as PlayStation 4, 5, and Windows PC. Now, gear up for five all new features that will get you hyped for Octopath Traveler 2. A fascinating new world. The original game provided a rich and beautiful world to explore. And from what I have experienced in the demo and from what the trailers have shown, the sequel will be no different. Set in the new land of Solistia, but this time around, we aren't just one continent, but composed of two known as the Eastern and Western continents that are divided by the sea. While the first game was a consistent theme of the medieval era, Octopath Traveler 2 is taking a unique approach and is set in the time of the Industrial Trade Revolution, where the power of steam has given birth to all new technologies. But that isn't the only way the worlds differ. The world created in Octopath 2 has much better immersion with housing and shops you can enter with interior fitting perfectly into the respective areas. And you combine this with a lot more voice acting with almost every cutscene voice acted, it really brings your character story to life. While they both have a unique HD 2D art style, Square Enix continues to take it to a whole new level with more detailed environments created in a retro pixel art style that has been created in a 3D environment rather than the usual 2D. So unlike the last game, that only had a top-down view, it seems this time there will be a variety of camera angles adding more depth to the stories and especially in the more drawn-out battles like late-game bosses. Travel has never been better. Traveling in the first Octopath consisted of traveling on foot or using fast travel points to return to a town inn. But with the world of Celestia split in two and separated by a large ocean, how can you travel across it? The answer? By ship, of course. But not just any old ship, you can obtain your own vessel to sail the open sea, with customization options such as a color scheme for your vessel. And while these customization options may be simplistic, custom options are always a great addition to add a little bit of personal touch to your playthrough. But I do hope they have a good selection of color schemes to pick from. The oceans are not the only bodies of water you can traverse in Octopath Traveler 2, as you can cross small bodies of water like lakes and rivers by canoe and is honestly quite a adorable feature that I'm sure many will enjoy. Characters Reborn Octopath Traveler 2 is set in a time of innovation, and I believe that is a fitting theme for a game trying to improve and reinvent upon a beloved original. And you can see the innovation. While the eight original starter classes have returned, they have been improved upon mechanically and creatively, with their character arc and personalities being largely different from their original counterparts. But while their game mechanics are similar, they differ enough to make it feel new and refreshing. Path actions make a comeback for Octopath Traveler 2, special abilities unique to each of the eight travelers that can be performed while exploring the world. But unlike the original Octopath game, where each playable protagonist had access to only one single path action, each one of the characters will now have access to different path actions, one during the day and another at night. But your actions aren't the only thing affected by the day and night cycle, as your character will have different passive abilities, battles change with stronger enemies coming out at night, and even the environment you are in will change during the different cycles. A nice touch they added is having the ability to switch between the day and night cycles freely to allow you to take advantage of the distinct features between the two without a time constraint. And it seems as though they listen to player feedback, and while it is still very much a narrative about eight individuals pursuing their own plotlines, they have added more interactions between the different members of the group. Additional character stories will unfold between the protagonists as their journey progresses, rather than just having them in your party and going about their respective paths. Job Security Like in the original, each traveler has a job associated with their character that define the skills and weapons a character is able to use. But unlike the original, each of the 12 secondary jobs, 8 starting jobs and 4 advanced jobs or secret jobs that were unlocked by finding shrines located across the map, the new game takes a different approach. With guilds located across the world you can visit 
and complete licensing quests to unlock new jobs for your team. Another change from the original job system is now multiple team members can have the same job, with the only obstacle you have to complete multiple licensing quests for the same job. Secret jobs are confirmed. If you look at the recently released Oshetti and Casti trailer, you can see one of the characters as what seems to be a witch doctor job, meaning at the very least we are getting four new advanced jobs with there potentially being more than four this time around. More power than you know. Although the break and boost system has been brought in from the original game with some refinement, there is a brand new system, latent power. During battle, a gauge fills up gradually as you deal damage and break foes. Once full, each character can unleash a unique and powerful new ability, which is just another strategic layer added to the multi-layered combat system. And I love it. Another nice touch is the latent power meter carries over between your battles, so you can build up your meter on small battles before heading into a big boss fight, and go in with all members' gauges ready to unleash their latent power, like a SETI who can concoct without using any materials when this power is unleashed. With all these new and exciting features coming with Octopath Traveler 2, what are you most excited about for the new game? Make sure to leave a comment below with your thoughts. And if you're unsure if you want to buy or just can't wait to play, then you should definitely check out the demo that has been released as of February 9th. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.